So here we are at Fence 1 at Burley CCI Four Star Event. Um, and this is where the magic happens. It's where it all begins. So Fence 1, they're actually quite nice to us. Um, we start out in this field. Um, and it's quite a long walk from the warm-up, so we'll have a little canter around here. And the box isn't set up yet because um, the, there's Pony Club show jumping right now. But this will all be obviously set up by Saturday. Um, and so fence one is quite straightforward and the main main part here is that they've got a lot of jumping effort So you want to make sure that the first several fences just come nice and out of a rhythm You don't want to make huge adjustments just get up into a rhythm real quick because uh, the leaf pit at number four comes up quite quickly um, So one and then we go right away to two so we're here at Fence 2, um, and this course is 11 minutes and 40 seconds. So we're taking off out of here, and, and hopefully we'll come, come be back here around 11.40, but um, it, it's a lot of a lot of jumping effort. So here our horse is going to be feeling super fit, um, galloping, tearing out, ready to go, but all the jumps have to be jumped. And whereas most of the riders are concerned about what's on past 1 and 2, we really set the tone here. Um, and this fence, you know, on, on a regular course um, would seem quite significant, but here at Burley, it's 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 just a, a, a galloping fence, one to catch your rhythm at. So it's a nice big jump um, to get you out and jumping. So um, we won't be here long to enjoy the view, that's for sure. All right, so here we are at fence three, which to me is the first real, real big jump on the course. And and you're going to see a lot of these big types of tables uh, throughout the kind of the next 40 some odd jumping efforts. And the real important thing here is to make, somehow make this big jump seem like not a big jump, like not a big effort for the horse. Because we want at this point in the game just to have a rhythm and have the horses jumping nice and easy so that they're still enjoying their job. Uh, one of the factors that, that plays into fence three is that our warm up is right here. So all their friends, the stalls, the stabling, everything's over there. Um, <laughs> that could, could, you know, anything around here could distract you from your job. <laughs> Um, so, so keeping the horse's attention, keeping them at, at pace to jump this so that they're again thinking forward and thinking that they're, they're enjoying this and ready to take on what challenges lie ahead. All right, so here we are at the leaf pit, and um, I think this is what, for, for most riders, gives them nightmares about Burley. <laughs> it's kind of, in some sense, kind of the, the, where, the where the track really begins here. Um, and this year, as well as last year, they've given us an option um, where we can either go straight and drop down off this massive drop and carry down to the triple brush, um, or we can pop over this log down the hill and a little longer option carrying around to um, the B element there, which then takes you around the trees. Um, so it really depends on the type of horse that you have. If, if you have a horse that doesn't drop off drops well, obviously you would go this way. Um, but this is going to save you a couple of seconds. This is the only place on, on Captain Mark Phillips track that the longer route I still think that you're going to be able to, to make the time. Um, it's not that much longer, uh, but this right here, as Boyd Martin says, could be the place where you could probably have one of the most annoying moments of your life. <laughs> because the horses are going to drop off the drop here, but you carry on to be, and it's really a question of just a horse being genuine and straight. There's not, you, you are going to be out of control, and you do just have to be okay with it. Um, so popping off here, you've got to slow down enough so that they don't that they don't scare themselves by backing off. Slow down enough, and then tell them to jump off the jump. But you'll see it's pretty fantastic. The ground just disappears on the backside um, as, as we come up here, and the horses at this level, the the amount of trust between horse and rider has to be huge because to gallop here and jump off into space like this is pretty <laughs> pretty fantastic. Um, and and there's no you know there's no time the most momentum is going to be carrying them off this. You're just going to have to try and get their ears between the red and white flag. Um, and I uh, hope, you, hope you kick on. Um, and again, if you want to do the longer route, you pop over the log here as quiet as you dare, uh, down the hill, over the right triple brush, and then you end up going left around the trees that take you down to the next fence. But um, I'm planning on going straight. <laughs> uh, I've got Tate's a good, a, a real good horse, a real genuine horse. Um, he hasn't, you know, you you can't school something like this. As uh, Will Coleman said, the best thing you could do to school this is drain your drain your swimming pool and put some dirt in the bottom and jump in. <laughs> and I don't see any of us doing that. Uh, so this is one of those things that you just kind of hope that that the years leading up to it have have created a strong enough bond that when you kick, they go.
So here we are on the landing side of fence 4A. Um, and again, here you just get off and then you just go with it down the hill. But this is pretty, pretty spectacular. Uh, the view from here would be pretty amazing with these horses bounding off of this and, and headed down the hill. But, you know, what you really want to happen is that to, to gallop as, as close as you can, but then settle down and so that the horses take a moment and pop off. You don't want the horse bounding out to the end of here or you're going to be completely out of control um, headed to be, which again, like we already said, you, you are not going to be in control. And if you think you're going to be in control, you're lying to yourself. But a big jump here is going to cause just momentum to purely take over it and the steering will go out the window. So you'd like the horses to have a soft enough jump here as you dare uh, and still kick them and say, okay, come on, let's go. Um, and down the hill we go, <laughs> carrying on, slipping the rein, going a bit wide with the hand. And hopefully here the horses see the question. And that's the wonderful thing actually about this track as you carry on is that it's a pretty spectacular, huge track for these horses. But, but, uh, the captains made the jumps and the questions very clear. As long as you are galloping down and the horse sees those flags, it's right in front of them. Um, and if this was on flat ground, it would be a related distance. Nobody's going to be walking the distance here. It's just in between the red and white. And this is, this is the pure in between the red and white and insanity in the middle. <laughs> Here we are at the elephant trap, fence number five, as I try not to fall in it, as we'll all be trying not to do on, uh, whoa. <laughs> on Saturday. Um, and this is, these are new logs that they're using this year called retro logs. And it's just a, a, a smaller timber, basically, that makes these fences that before this was just a tricaner. Well, I, I say this was just a tricaner, but a pretty significant tricaner. And now these logs bring it back a little bit to, to some of the older school type fences that used to be jumped. Um, but it just makes it look massive. Um, and, and as someone pointed out a little while ago, there's a reason they call these elephant traps. There's no mouse traps here. These things are, are big enough to capture any large game. Um, so, uh, but this actually is what you would call a let up fence. After you've got, here's a time where you gallop down. Hopefully you've had success at the leaf pit. You come and gallop this fence straight down the hill, gallop this fence, try not to waste a second, um, cut on the, on the left side and carry on down to, uh, Discovery Valley, Land Rover Discovery Valley. Um, and, and hopefully you've started yourself on a good a good track and everything's been going out of rhythm and here you can kind of assess and see where you're at and hopefully you're setting yourself up for, I don't know, another nine minutes and <laughs> 40 seconds of jumping efforts. Um, so I'm going to leave you here and pass it on. Um, but hopefully we will uh, have, a, have, a, have success on Saturday and we can talk about the show jumping course on Sunday, hopefully sitting from a, a good position.